everybody and welcome back to another week of toy hunting and this week i am really looking forward to because not only am i going to be hitting up the uh regular uh, targets and walmarts i got a couple other things uh, on the docket and what i'm going to be doing is there is a huge town-wide uh garage sale that's once a year that's not too far from me i'm definitely gonna check that out usually there's all sorts of uh vintage toys uh vintage video games uh all sorts of stuff so it's gonna be uh pretty cool and i'm not sure how much footage i'll be able to get because it's gonna be at people's private residence however um if i do find cool stuff i'll definitely show it uh immediately and i'll kind of give like a general overview as i'm walking uh, around but it's a huge town-wide sale it should be a lot of fun and also saratoga comic-con is this weekend uh which usually is pretty decent uh uh usually has you know a fair number of toys uh obviously comics and all sorts of other collectibles so that should be a lot of fun so this should be a uh, pretty fun, uh, kind of eclectic a little bit uh, video with uh, some variety here. Uh, so it's gonna be a little more than just the uh, regular uh, Walmarts and Targets, which uh, are also gonna be part of the video, obviously. Uh, that's where I'm gonna start out with. What am I looking for this week? Not 100% sure. I've kind of gotten like a lot of the stuff that I've wanted. So this is more of a, uh, as we say, a scouting mission this week. So we'll see if there's anything new on the shelves. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. You guys have been awesome. You guys have been uh, really you're doing great in the comment section. I love it. Uh, let me know what you guys have been finding, uh, what you th thought of the video, and so on and so forth. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. So without any further ado and any further rambling, let's head on in. All right, so I'm at a Target that's like actually about an hour away from me which I normally don't ever go to and it's uh it's actually got some different stuff and it's got like this NECA section which is just part of the regular toy aisle so that's kind of different let's see we got the man cave got Dracula which is awesome it's got the Invisible Man. Still got a bunch of these two packs. And nothing really, but still. This I haven't seen before. That's kind of cool. That's cool. interesting that this has been re-released because it's um it's a definitely an older figure it's like the second time i've seen it now so it must be a thing all right let's check out the rest of the uh toy section man i like this target it's actually pretty full <laughs> if it wasn't so far i'd come here more often seeing these vintage style turtles everywhere I really do not even being facetious all right let's see over here I like how this is all in one aisle and not in two aisles usually these are split in uh, two two aisles Cool. 
haven't seen him before. Man, $59 for him. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, random AJ over here. They have the Zelda limited edition one. I should just pick that up on Amazon, honestly. It's pretty cool. Okay, here's the regular NECA section. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. These two are so cool. Oh, so cool. Hmm. Yeah, McFarland's been knocking it out of the park with the, the Predators. It's really pretty impressive. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, so I'm at a Walmart that's uh, kind of out of town, so see if they got anything different here. I hit up the uh, NECA section first and uh, I've never seen this before. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Nothing there. Let's throw it in. Right, not much here. Let's see. Got this pack, which is cool. God, I love these. Wish they would go on clearance. All right, so let's see over here. Transformers. What's up there? Uh, nothing that I need. Hmm. All right, they've had the rest of these at least at some point. Lots of Marvel Legends. Let's see here. Spin Master Batwing. What's oh, back here? Anything good? No, not really. superpowers let's see nothing really for Star Wars I've never seen that before So I'm walking out of the uh, toy section and I come across this. I know this is new. This is cool as heck. Wow. Same with this. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Right, so, first target today. And what do we got? I do see a couple razors. Uh, not the chase though. Oh, that's cool. What else we got here? Yeah, some Indiana Jones. Turtles. 
Not much else new. It's over here. Got the bat wing. Definitely a nice cap. All right, let's uh, check neck out over here. That's too bad. All right, nothing here. So I'm walking through Target, and I just noticed that the uh, card section is pretty stacked, and I don't know anything about anything when it comes to cards. But uh, if you guys see anything uh, that I should be like on the lookout for, that's you know hard to find or whatever, uh, just let me know because, like I said, I don't know what I'm looking at here. I see some WWE cards, and I did grab this because I just love garbage pail kids. So like I'm like I don't know, maybe I'll grab that just for fun. But. Uh, there's, like I said, some wrestling, uh, and otherwise I really don't know what I'm looking at, so just let me know. Boy, the music is blaring today. Right, Guardians 3. I actually saw this last night. It was excellent. I thought it was a phenomenal movie. Way better than the second one. Let's see what we got here, if anything. Boy, this music is just blasting today, my gosh. All right, not much new here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Nothing new for these, from what I could tell. Okay, what's happening here? Hmm. This is new. for these. Hmm. The bat wing. Love that bat wing. I cannot wait for the Flash movie. You guys excited for that? I am stoked. Like each trailer that comes out for it looks better and better. This is ridiculous. $60. This is so cool, too. Pretty stocked, but it doesn't look like anything really new. <clears throat> this is cool, the yeah, 209. Oh, I haven't seen uh, this, this one yet. All right, guys, so I am at the Village Wide Garage Sale, which I was talking about, and uh, hopefully we find some stuff. I stopped on at uh, one garage sale on the way, which was actually okay. I didn't get anything there, but they had a ton of stuff. Uh, they were still unpacking. Might hit it up on my way back. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I'll see if I can find anything here. If not, uh, oh well, but it's always fun to dig. This is cool right here. Just random. It's like in somebody's trailer. This is interesting. 
That's kind of cool. Hmm. Okay. So first find of the day, uh, a couple of video games, uh, two bucks each, uh, the remake of the original Tomb Raider, which uh, heard is pretty good, and uh, Witcher 3, which I've never played, might not, but kind of good to have in the collection since it's such a classic game. So there you go. It's kind of the main drag where a lot of the garage sales are, a bunch of the houses have them. You can see off in the distance, I purposely uh, taking a shot now while don't have anybody really in sight but uh, yeah that's what's going on it's actually a beautiful day to walk outside so actually enjoying it even from that standpoint not really found much yet but uh, it's still pretty cool so at least found a couple games I uh, needed for real cheap so I'll keep looking definitely some cool old homes in this area it's like kind of very uh, old a town now nah, no new construction or anything like that and just a lot of cool uh houses and stuff so i just had my uh, first score of the day i'm actually pretty stoked right now because i got a screaming deal on this so i got this stack of games two bucks each super mario brothers mario zelda mario party super mario galaxy uh, Star Wars Lego from GameCube in a random DVD for my wife of uh, the notebook. So, uh, yeah, that was how much I ended up actually paying 15. So, like two dollars and ten cents per. So, not too bad at all. Some of these games are actually all of these are probably over 20 bucks a piece. So. All right, back from the garage sales on to Target and uh, let's see what's going on here. Some random old ones, that's weird. This is a good series, actually. I really liked uh, Return of the Jedi. That was kind of when I first started collecting, when I was a kid. It was Return of the Jedi, so I always thought that was a cool one. ones here. That's actually uh, kind of valuable. Oh, so some new Wotu. Pighead, I've not seen him in the Masterverse set yet. What else I got here? Manny Faces. And Manny Faces is really good, actually. I actually recently opened him up. Look at, that's cool. stuff. Let's see. What else we got down here? Just that He-Man. Some turtles. There's the Flash. The other Flash. The 
of the other flesh. Oh, this is the bloody violator. That is cool. So after some garage selling and target shopping this morning, I'm gonna now go hit up the Saratoga Comic Con. Not sure what to expect. Usually it's uh, it's not great, but I have some friends that are vendors there, so at least I'll be able to say hi to them. But uh, yeah, usually they have at least a few toy vendors, so we'll see what uh, we can find. But um, yeah, so let's head on in. I got about a mile walk because. Uh, a ton of people actually go to this amazingly, so we'll see what we can find. So it is packed here, so I'm just gonna walk around and do my best. Ghostbusters. Oh, here's a toy booth. Let's rustle my way over here. It looks like they got some comics too, so. Let's see what we can dig in here. Some newish transformers. I actually didn't pick that one out. And it's only because there are no other printers on it. All right, guys. So welcome back to the pickups portion of this week's video. And I actually have a small amount of pickups for the amount of hunting that I did this week. This was a huge hunt this week between what I did during the week, uh, which I was able to get out a couple of times. But then Saturday... It, I'm recording this as of Sunday morning, and I'm still exhausted from yesterday. It was just a bonkers day between going to garage sales in the morning, then to a couple of targets, and then finishing off at the econ. That was wild. But amazingly, I really didn't buy that much stuff. I didn't find all that much, but it was a fun hunt. It was still a good time. The con was fun. Uh, the garage sales I always enjoy. A lot of the time with the garage sales, especially with like a village-wide sale like that, I just enjoy being outside in the outdoors and just walking around uh, from house to house and digging and searching. So, and again, it's hard to record under those circumstances because you're on people's private residence. So, tough to get footage, but uh, I was able to show you guys what I picked up. But without any further ado and further rambling, I'm going to show you what I've got this week and. 
This I got late uh, Sunday last week. It was from a con, a, like a tiny little hotel con that I went to, which I didn't even bother getting footage from because it was so small, so crowded. It wasn't worth it. And I was probably there for a grand total of maybe half an hour at the most. But one vendor did not disappoint and it made the trip uh, to this con worthwhile. And what I got was a bunch of Toy Biz Ghost Rider figures, which are amazing. And I got all these, I think there were 11, I want to say. And I got all these for $40. So 11 original Toy Biz Ghost Rider figures in package and pretty much near mint to mint condition. So... I'll just show them quickly. Yeah, these are so cool. I just love these. Yeah, these are just awesome. And I, I couldn't believe the price on these, so I just had to have them all. And this is the last one. So yeah, 11 figures uh, for 40 bucks, uh, original vintage at Toy Biz. Awesome, very excited to get these and add them into the collection. Next, I got these in the mail uh, this week and it is from Ringside Collectibles, the newest uh, Ultimate Edition Ways and it is the Seth Rollins, which uh, looks incredible. This Seth Rollins just is, wow. I, look at him with the coat. I mean, that just looks amazing. Not sure if I'm going to open this up. Probably not. I keep the Ultimates in package. Uh, but if I come across an extra one, and if it ever goes on clearance, uh, that's usually when I open them up, but when I get an extra one like that. And the other one is Andre the Giant. Now, I've realized, actually, recently, and it was after talking to my buddy Man Cave, that I have almost a near-complete Ultimate Edition set um, from the very beginning. So... And it kind of happened organically. I'm only missing about three or four figures, uh, which is actually pretty pretty amazing. Um, I love these Ultimate Edition figures. Uh, so given how close I am, I'm probably just going to try to complete uh, the set. And last but not least, I got a bunch of video games at the garage sales. And I'll just run through these quickly. Uh, Witcher 3. Tomb Raider. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy, and these are all uh, complete. Mario Party 8. Zelda Twilight Princess. Mario Kart. New Super Mario Brothers. And for the GameCube, uh, the original Lego Star Wars for the original trilogy. So that is it, and all these... all. I want to say all these games combined cost me $20, and a lot of these games are worth 20 to 30 Like, this one is around 20 this one is around 30 uh, this one's like $15, uh, this one's about 20 25 this one's about 25 so I m might just put them up on eBay. I already have all the Wii games, so I don't need them, so... You know, it could help fund the collection it, to uh, purchase something that I do need. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do have a video coming up that I've been working on where I'm redoing a lot of my uh, toy room or just more reorganizing. It's not going to be a drastic change, but I'm just reorganizing some stuff uh, to try to create more space. And I've been actually chronicling it as I go, where I'm taking clips as I go. And I'm going to put that into one video. Uh, I'm getting close to finished. So that should be coming out uh, possibly as a midweek video this week. We'll see. I, and once I have everything the way I want it, uh, I'm going to do a brand new uh, room tour. So stay tuned for that uh, coming up in the next, uh, I don't know, a few weeks. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe as always, and take care.